But where does a train think it is in ETCS? Well, it thinks it is in an approximate place because it hasn't got a map like GPS or Google. What it does is estimate the distance it has traveled from a known location, in this case, the last Belize group. And it's important to remember that ETCS on board only knows about things which it has passed. It doesn't know about things that are to come. It can't look ahead to see things which it is approaching. A good way to imagine this is to imagine that you're walking backwards. You'll be thinking like the onboard. You'll see the reference points as you pass them and you'll be able to see how far you are from them. But you won't be able to see anything which is behind you or in front of you. So let's imagine, let's go to somewhere famous in London, such as the Mall. Let's start under Admiralty Arch and walk down the Mall backwards towards Buckingham Palace. So we start at Admiralty Arch and we walk backwards down the Mall, further and further away from the arch. We can now get an idea that we're perhaps 50 metres away and a little bit further, perhaps a 120, 130 metres away, perhaps a bit more. And we can see the things that we have passed. We can see our reference point of Admiralty Arch and we can see other features that we've passed. And if one of those features is suitable, then that could become our new reference. As we move further and further away, Admiralty Arch gets smaller and smaller in the distance. And our estimation of how far we have gone from the arch is probably going to become less and less accurate. And by the time we go past the next road junction, our estimate is probably going to be quite some way out. And as we continue down the mall, our uncertainty is going to increase. Remember, we can only look back at our reference point, Admiralty Arch there in the distance. We can't see what we are actually approaching. So when the ETCS on board is asked to report its location or to use its location to decide how far it can, it, whether it has traveled too far, then what it is using is Admiralty Arch, in our case, as the reference point. And what it will report is that it's about 275 meters from Admiralty Arch. And in fact, it will also say that it is sure that it is at least 265 metres from the arch. And it could be as far as, say, 290 metres from the arch. We have an element of uncertainty. Of course, the other thing we need to think about was how accurate was my starting point. We were using Admiralty Arch, but which edge of it did we measure from? It is quite a significant structure. If we would measured from the far side, that could be an increase of, say, 10 or 15 metres. If we had measured from the near side, that would be different. Or perhaps we'd measure from the middle. So ETCS, when it is reporting its distance from a reference point, takes account of the potential inaccuracy of that origin. And if we look in the subsets which decide describe the behaviour of ETCS, we will see that when a train reports its position, it is reporting its estimated position from a reference Belize that it has de detected. And it is also reporting a confidence interval comprised of an overreading amount, which forms L doubt over, taking also account of the inaccuracy of our origin, and an underreading amount leading to L doubt under, which also takes account of that potential error in the origin. So the place that a train reports it to be is an estimate, and it provides a range of distances from the reference Belize that it believes it is definitely within.